can Red Bull give Leeds United wings? What happens when a historic club gets a massive energy boost? Well, what we get is an unstoppable force that could start dominating in the coming years if things go as planned properly. But can Red Bull truly give Leeds United the wings to soar to new heights? Well, to find out, we need to rewind the clock back to 1919, when Leeds United was founded. Known for their diehard fans and iconic white kits, Leeds United history is filled with ups and downs, triumphs and heartbreaks. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, under the guidance of manager Don Revy, Leeds United reached the pinnacle of English football. They won the first division title twice. In the 1968-69 and 1973-74 seasons, their dominance extended to domestic cup competitions, capturing the FA Cup in 1972 with a 1-0 victory over Arsenal and the League Cup in 1968 by defeating Arsenal 1-0. Leeds' prowess wasn't limited to England. I mean, they made significant strides in Europe, reaching the final of the European Cup, now the UEFA Champions League, in 1975 although they were defeated by Bayern Munich. They also won the Intercity Spheres Cup, a predecessor to the UEFA Europa League, twice in 1968 and 1971. The league was renowned for its tough, uncompromising style of play, embodied by legendary players like Billy Bremer, Jack Carlton and Norman Hunter. In addition to these major trophies, Leeds United also achieved notable league records. They were runners-up in the first division five times during Revy's tenure, and set a then-record for the longest unbeaten run in the top flight, going 34 matches without a defeat during the 1968-69 season. However, like all good things, this golden era came to an end. Financial mismanagement and poor decision-making led to a decline in the club's fortunes. The early 2000s were particularly tough, as Leeds gambled on Champions League qualification but failed, resulting in significant debt. The club was relegated from the Premier League in 2004, and further dropped to League One in 2007. Despite these setbacks, the fans remained loyal, and Leeds United began the long road to recovery. In 2010, they earned promotion back to the Championship, and after years of perseverance, they finally returned to the Premier League in 2020, under the guidance of Marcelo Bielsa. This remarkable comeback was a huge morale boost, reminding everyone of the club's potential when everyone pulls together. However, the 2022-23 season brought new challenges. Struggling in the Premier League, Leeds United made the tough decision to sack Marcelo Bienza in February 2023. Jesse Marsh was appointed as the new manager, but his tenure was short-lived, lasting less than a year as the club's struggles continued. By the end of the season, Leeds was relegated back to the Championship. During the Championship season of 2023-24, Leeds United sought stability and appointed Daniel Fark as the new manager in the summer of 2023. Under Fark's leadership, the team showed resilience and determination. Key matches defined their campaign, including a 3-2 victory against West Bromwich Albion and a decisive 2-1 victory over Norwich City, demonstrating their fighting spirit. By the end of the 2023-24 season, Leeds United finished third in the championship, securing their return to the Premier League through the playoffs. Their playoff campaign was marked by a dramatic semi-final against Sheffield United, where they triumphed 4-3 on aggregate, and a nail-biting final against Derby County, clinching promotion with a 2-0 win. This return to the top flight was a testament to the club's resilience and the support of their passionate fan base. But sooner or later, big news was to hit the club and fans as a whole. The Red Bull Takeover The news that Red Bull was buying Leeds United was a real shocker. In early 2024, the energy drink giant announced they were acquiring a majority stake in the club, and the reaction was intense. Fans were excited about the potential financial stability and ambition Red Bull could bring, but there were also concerns about preserving the club's identity. The takeover deal reportedly cost Red Bull over £300 million, with promises to invest heavily in upgrading the club's facilities and squad. At the initial press conference, representatives from both Red Bull and Leeds United discussed their shared vision for the future, emphasizing respect for the club's heritage while aiming to elevate it to new heights and compete with the top teams. 
You see, Red Bull's impressive track record in sports, especially football, includes ownership of clubs like RB Leipzig in Germany, Red Bull Salzburg in Austria, and the New York Red Bulls in the US. These teams have benefited greatly from investments in infrastructure, youth development, and global marketing. With similar investments in Leeds United, we can expect significant upgrades to training facilities and an influx of talented players, and a higher international profile for the club. Their approach to football focuses on high intensity, attacking play and nurturing young talent. This strategy has been successful for their other clubs, like RB Leipzig, which reached the UEFA Champions League semi-finals in 2020. The prospect of Leeds United adopting this approach has created a buzz, with many anticipating exciting changes and greater competitiveness in the league. The immediate impact of Red Bull taking over Leeds United was felt in the club's management. A new CEO, Oliver Misliv, who has worked with RB Leipzig, came in and made several changes to the coaching staff to align with Red Bull's overall plan. Financially, the club received a significant cash infusion, which they will use to sign new players and enhance their competitiveness in the Premier League in the coming season. But what about the long term? Red Bull's involvement with Leeds United has the potential to be transformative. We're looking at serious investments in youth development, similar to their success with RB Leipzig. The training facilities at Thorpe Arc are set for a major overhaul, incorporating state-of-the-art sports science to help players reach their full potential. And Red Bull's global branding power could open up new markets for merchandise, attracting fans from around the world. It's not only about flashy marketing, though. Red Bull's reputation for using data analytics and sports science to innovate player training and development is set to bring fresh ideas to Leeds. They aim to create a sustainable system that competes at the highest level while nurturing homegrown talent. Leeds United could become a formidable force in the Premier League and beyond, potentially shaking up the entire football landscape. So, how are the fans feeling about all this? Well, as expected, Leeds supporters have mixed reactions. While some are thrilled about the potential return to glory, others are concerned about the club's unique identity and the possibility of losing its rich history. Although Red Bull has pledged to invest in the community, supporting local youth football programs, and ensuring fans' voices are heard, this approach will of course aim to create a strong foundation for the club, while maintaining its roots and ensuring continued success. But can Red Bull really give Leeds wings? To reach a conclusion, we'll have to analyze the pros and cons. For one, Leeds is about to get a serious boost from this new partnership with Red Bull. We know that. So they'll have more stability in their finances, better facilities, and a solid youth system. But of course, there are also downsides. They might lose some of their traditional identity and end up alienating some fans. The club's new commercial focus might not go over too well with fans who are used to the way things have been done for over a century. On the plus side, there's a good chance that the partnership will lead to some serious on-field success. But it could also end up making some long-time supporters unhappy, especially if the club starts to focus too much on modernization and not enough on respecting their history. It's going to be a tricky balancing act for sure. Football experts and pundits, as usual, seem pretty split on the whole thing. Some see it as a great move for the club, while others are worried about losing what makes Leeds United special. John Taylor, a sports economist, thinks Red Bull has a good track record, and that this could be a new beginning for the club. And former players like Rio Ferdinand have been cautiously optimistic, saying that they just hope the club doesn't lose touch with its roots in the process. A social media poll recently had fans buzzing about the future of Leeds United. While about 60% of respondents were stoked about Red Bull's involvement, seeing it as a much-needed shot of modernization and investment, the other 40% were worried about losing the club's historic identity. In the end, the outcome was pretty split, but everyone seems to agree that this new chapter will be huge in shaping Leeds United's legacy. So, in essence, Leeds fans have a lot of mixed feelings about the whole thing. Some are just pumped for the changes and think that it's what the club needs to move forward, while others are more cautious. Well, for now, only time will tell. This is football, our prestigious, unpredictable sport. As we all watch Leeds United navigate this exciting new era with Red Bull, it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. There's a lot riding on this and I'm sure all the fans are just as anxious as I am to see how it all goes. So stay tuned, 
keep the faith, and let's cheer our hearts out as we watch history unfold. And please don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Until next time, thank you for watching.